Hello and welcome back. This is video number four and I'm going to show you step by step how to get everything set up. Okay, so first things first, you are going to need to have access to WooCommerce before you even think about installing the memberships plugin. So to do that is fairly simple. All you have to do is simply go to plugins, click on add new, and you'll see this screen. Then you will need to go to the search plugins and type in WooCommerce. So it'll take a second to load as you see here. And this is what it is. Now I'm showing you a live e-commerce site that actually uses WooCommerce. So we already have that installed, but if you're starting from scratch, you're simply going to click the install now button, kind of like this one over here. And then of course, after it installs it, you'll have to activate it. So there, there will be a blue button that says activate and you can simply click that. Now, once you're done, what you want to do is you are going to see the WooCommerce over here. So from here, you want to go straight to settings. And the reason being is that the dashboard is simply going to show you the products. The orders are going to show you kind of like the reports, the coupons allows you to create coupons and of course memberships and customers. So all of these will most likely not really be needed until you actually launch the site. So if you go to settings here, you'll end up landing over here. Now under the general tab, it's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. It'll be things like your address, uh, whether you're going to do shipping or not. Uh, you got products over here. So you can specify your shop page. You can specify the add to cart behavior. So for example, redirect to the cart page after successful addition. So when somebody adds something like to the cart, you can redirect them to the cart page. Now I have that unchecked because what if somebody wants to purchase more than one item? And then when you redirect them to the cart page, it just becomes annoying. But that feature is there just in case you have you may, maybe a few or you have a membership site and you only have one level. So that would be good for that. Then of course you go to payments and payments allows you to specify the different payment gateways that you want to connect to. Now we have it connected to Stripe, which is a credit card billing system. Now they have direct bank transfer, check payments, cash on delivery, PayPal, and more. So all you have to do is once you've enabled that, you click manage and you can simply follow the instructions and connect the two. So once that's done, you can go to accounts and privacy. Now this just allows you to create the experience. So for example, guest checkout, you can allow customers to place orders without an account, or you can allow customers to log in to an existing account. So it really depends on the experience that you want to create for your customers. So think carefully about your customers when you do this. Then of course we have emails, which are the automatic emails that are sent out, such as if somebody purchases, they get an email that says, congratulations, here's access to your product. Or if it's a physical product, you could say, we got your transaction and we are about to ship out. And then of course we have integration, advanced and memberships. So these are not really, we're not really going to focus on these because we're really going to focus on this one over here. So once you've installed WooCommerce, the next thing of course is to go to WooCommerce.com, purchase the membership plugin, download it, and of course install it. Installing is easy. I already have it installed here, but you simply do the same thing that I showed you earlier. You go to the plugins page, but in this case, you're going to actually upload the plugin. So you'll go click on upload. You'll choose the file. So in other words, if you download the files somewhere, you need to find that you pick the file, you click install now. And then of course you click activate. And of course, once you're done, you've got the plugin installed. So if we go back to WooCommerce, remember under settings, we had an option for memberships. 
Now, these are not the settings in terms of creating a plan. We'll show you that in just a minute. But these are mainly just the global settings. So for example, redirect members upon login. You can redirect them, let's say, to the members area or to a very specific page. Or you can simply do no redirect. So if you want to redirect people to, say, maybe a community page or an announcements page, and you want people to see that first before they access anything else, this is a good option to have. So we're not going to check any of these. We're going to go and create a membership plan. Hello and welcome back. This is video number five, and I'm going to show you how to create a membership plan. So we talked about in the previous videos that different membership sites can be different. Some have free levels, some then have the paid level on top of the free level, or some don't even have the free level at all, and they simply have a paid level. So regardless of what the situation is, I'm going to show you how to create a membership plan. So to do that, once you've installed the WooCommerce membership plugin or extension, you simply go under WooCommerce and then you click on memberships. Now up at the top here, you see members, membership plans, import and export. So members is simply going to list the different members that you have and what kind of plans that they are attached to. Now, if you go under membership plans, you'll be able to see the different plans that you have created and you'll simply be able to create a new plan. So we're going to click on add membership plan like so. And here we go. So let's walk you through the step by step process. So let's say, for example, that you want to create a free level. So we'll call this free level two simply because I already have a free level in this live site and we're going to do free level to test. Now I'm going to zoom in just a bit so that you can see it better. In fact, I'm going to collapse the menu like this. All right. So under general, you have the slug slug simply is like the permalink or the URL, what you see in the URL. So, you're going to see something like free dash level. So you could basically take this title here, put it here, just put dashes in between. So that's not as important. Now, grant access upon. Now, it gives you different options. You can either do manual assignment only. And what that means is that somebody creates an account and you can you have you yourself as the administrator has to actually manually approve them. Or you can grant access upon user account registration. So you can have a form where somebody simply fills it out and then they become a member. Now, ideally, that would be the best case for a free level. Now, in terms of a pay level, that would be a little bit different. And that would be in connection with the, the video after this one, which I'll show you how to create a, a WooCommerce product and all of that. But if you just want to do free, I would choose this one. Membership length is simply the length that they have access to. So if you want to give them access only for a month, you could do that as fixed amount of dates, or you can simply give them unlimited access for however long the life of your site, which would be unlimited. Then next we have restrict content. So I'm actually going to go through this later on. And when we create a pay level, I'll show you the settings that you'll need. So for now, for a free level, this is what I would do. In terms of restrict content, it says uh, there are no rules yet. Click below to add one. This content can be viewed by all visitors. And you can add a rule to restrict it to members. So in other words, if you have those five to 10 different pages and you want to only give people access to those five to 10 pages, you would simply add them here. So you would click this, click add new rule, and you would go to say post or pages or whatever you want to do. So if we were to do pages and because this is a free level, you want to specify which pages they have access to. So you would simply type in the page name. 
Now, if you don't want to give them access to certain items, don't put that item here. The only reason why you would ever leave this blank is if you want people to have access to every single page on your site. So again, with free levels, not really the case. So you want to pick and choose the pages. So once you're done, you simply click on publish and you are done. Now, as you can see, they have pages, they have posts, they have forums, discussions, courses, lessons, topics. Now, the reason why I have these is because I use LearnDash, which is a different plugin, which allows you to run courses. So if you don't have that plugin, most likely you're not going to see this. You're simply going to see pages and posts and maybe a few things like categories. So keep that in mind. Now, accessible allows you to basically say, when do they get access to these items? Do they get access to them immediately? which I have checked here, or specify a time. So maybe you want to drip feed your content. If you want to do that, you'll need to figure out what pages they have access to, and of course, when they should have access. So maybe you want them to come in, and maybe you have a trial, let's say for a dollar for the first seven days. And then after the seven days, you could charge them a different fee. So. Basically, the, all this means is you can drip feed your content. So that's restrict content. Restrict products, on the other hand, is a little bit very similar, but a little bit different. Products are basically whatever you add to your WooCommerce shop. So if you've added, let's say, a premium level to your shop, or let's say you have a different product of some sort, then you can give them access to those products. Now, if you leave them blank, they're going to have access to all the products and that's not what you want. So if you're going to do like a free level and then a paid level on top of that, I don't think you're really going to need any of this. In fact, we can simply delete selected, which I'll do that here. And we don't need that. Next up, we have the purchasing discounts. Now, what this means is this gives your customers if they're on the free level a discount you can specify i want to give them a 10 percent off on all of my products so you can do that and then maybe the paid level you could give them a higher percent of discount off it's really up to you dependent on what you want to do so if you click on add new discount you can select all the products if you leave it blank or certain products and of course you can type in the amount percentage that they get discounted or the dollar amount. Next up, we have members area. Now members area, as you can see, is a portion of the My Accounts page that shows the member lists of available content, products, discounts, and membership notes. Now down here, it has an explanation of what that is. So content will show all pages, post and other content, Products will show products that are viewable and purchasable, discounts and notes and manage. So what this is saying is that the members area, what do they have access to? So include the following. In terms of a free level, I wouldn't really include all of these items. So I would probably delete the majority of these, except for maybe products because I want them to purchase the premium level. And if I want to give them access to the discounts, I can put notes and manage. Next up, we have the email content, which simply allows you just to configure how you're going to email people. Now, you're not going to see WP Fusion. That just happens to be on this website, which is sort of like Zapier or Z-A-P-I-E-R website, which basically connects different apps together. So you're not going to see that. You're simply going to see this right here. So that's all you would have to do in terms of creating a membership plan. Now let's talk about a paid membership. So if we go back to the top and we, let's say we do premium and we're going to say that this is 97 bucks, one time fee. And they have access to Maybe we'll call it the all access pass. So they have access to pretty much everything. So the slug, we could just do something like premium level. Grant access upon product purchase. So 
what we need to do is we're going to need to create a product and then click the product here. So it's kind of a little bit reverse in its case in the video, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a product. But once you create that product and you can come back over here and you can then select that product. So basically what you're saying is grant access to this specific premium level plan if they purchase that specific product. All right. So you're going to need to specify that membership length, unlimited restrict content because this is the premium level and people get access to everything. You can simply say pages and leave this blank and post and of course leave that blank. So if you would do that, you would simply click add new rule and you would do something like posts and leave that blank. So that way people have access to pretty much everything. Now in terms of restrict products, unless you really have a product that is higher level, I don't really see any need to have this because we're not on the free level anymore. We're now on the paid level or the premium level or the highest level. So if that's the case, we don't really need to do anything with this purchasing discounts. You could say something like the premium level members get 20% or 10% off of everything. Then we have members area. And for this one, I would just include everything. So I would include, you know, the content, the products, the discounts and everything. And then email content is self-explanatory and that's all you have to do. So once you are done with that, we would click publish, click okay. And there we go. So now what we need to do is we need to go back to WooCommerce and we need to create a product that matches this. So basically any paid products, you will need to create a WooCommerce product that is connected over here. So we're going to show you how to do that in the next video. Hello and welcome back. This is video number six. And in this video, we're going to show you how to create a product that will match this plan. So in other words, the product is going to be able to take the payment from the customer. And after they pay, they will be sent into the membership plan. So this plan, in other words, will be added to their account. It's really easy. All you have to do is go under products. So you're not going to go here. You're going to go here under products, and then you're going to click add new. Now I went ahead and opened that in a brand new window because I want to show you once we're done something that we'll need to do and come back over here. So you click on add new product, which is what you see right here. And well, we want to name this very similar to this. So I'm going to, copy this. So copy and we're going to paste this like that. And then under product or the visual, you want to enter kind of the description. So the description of the membership plan and the benefits of what people get. All right. So after that, you can choose a product category if you want to, that could be maybe membership plans. So we could do membership plans and do that. And here we go. So at this point you got the product. So you have a variety of different product types, like simple product, group product, external product, variable product, and course. Now you're not going to see this, like I said, unless you have like something like learn dash, you're going to simply want to click simple product, click on virtual and then enter the price. So maybe the regular price is $197 and we're giving everyone a kind of a 50% discount. So that's a nice thing. What in this case, you'll be charging people $97 and they'll see that the regular price is $197. Now, if you were creating courses and you had the learn dash plugin, you would select the courses that they get access to. Now, in this case, it's simply a membership plan. So we're going to leave that blank, click on inventory. You're not going to need to fill out any of this information because you just want to make sure that it says in stock link products is if you want to link to other upsells and cross sells attributes, you're not really going to need anything. And then we have advanced. Now advanced, you might use 
if you want to enter a purchase note. So if you want to enter maybe a link that directs people to a certain page, you could add that in here. Or if you want to add a note to somebody on the thank you page, you'll want to enter that here. So I'm going to copy this here because down here is a little bit similar. So we got the product description here. And like I said, you're not going to see WP Fusion on your website unless you're using that. And I mainly use WP Fusion, just so you know, to connect to Active Campaign. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to tag people and then, you know, add people and then basically create a customized experience. But to keep it simple, you're not going to see that. So under memberships, this is important. You could say disable restrictions. So check this box if you want to force this product to be public regardless of any restriction. And then of course right here, you select that and we have the registered account here. Now let's see here. Now one thing to note is it automatically chose free account, but that's not what we're going to need in this account. So what we want to do is we want to add a new rule, select that and select the plan. So in this case, we're going to just choose premium. And then of course, only members can view or purchase. So what that means is only members of this can purchase this product. So we are going to simply click view because we don't want that to be the case and they have accessibility to it immediately. So we're going to add that rule. And that simply says, give them access to that plan immediately upon purchase. You can use the custom message here. If you want to enter kind of a uh, restricted message for this product or a custom message down here after they've purchased the product. And of course, you're not going to see this. This is simply for my header and footer scripts. So once you're done, you can simply click on publish. And of course, once that is finished, it'll give you access directly to the link to the product. So now you have the link to the product. Now I'm going to refresh this page real quick. And let's see. So remember right here, we have to come back over here since we created the product and say grant access upon purchase product. So in this case, we're going to enter uh, this one here and here and simply select the product plan. So this is the product that we're choosing and we click on update and we are done. Hello and welcome back. This is video number seven and this is going to be all about testing. So in other words, how do you make it work? How do you make sure that everything that you set up actually works? Because the worst thing is setting up all the technical aspects and then when you launch it, you haven't tested it and it doesn't work. And then the customers get frustrated and then you have to figure out all of that. So this is what you need to do to test. So we're going to focus on two different levels since we have the free level. And then of course we have the paid level. The free level is a little bit easier. All you have to do is get access to the register page. Now, if you install WooCommerce, typically, it will install certain pages like this one right here. So if I go to the register page, so I go under page, find the register page, scroll down, and you're going to see this. So by default, it says give people access to the free plan. Now you could also create a secondary register page if you wanted to give them access maybe to a different free level. You could do that as well. So we're going to select this and select, uh, actually select delete selected and we're just going to leave it as it is. So what you want to do is just grab this link and then test it out. Enter your information, your email, your first and last name and all, whatever it asks you for, and just make sure that you have access to those certain pages. So you want to make sure that you know what pages that you selected. So if you selected five, do they have access to those five or do they have access to everything? If they have access to everything, there is a problem 
you have to go back and it's probably some sort of settings in the restricted content area. If it works, congratulations, you have created a free level that actually works. Now, what about the premium level? Okay, so if we go back over here to, let's say WooCommerce settings, and then under payments, so it's WooCommerce settings payments, you're gonna see this list here. Now, there are a variety of different things on this page, but for the most part, most of you are most likely going to use Stripe or PayPal, or you might use both. Now, in this case, we are simply using Stripe. So I'm going to show you how to go about testing it. Now, if you click on manage, I'm not going to show you those details because this is a, a live site, but with Stripe, it actually walks you through step by step. You simply will need to get your secret keys and your web hooks and all that and it actually talks about it through stripe stripe is actually a really good resource they're very good at their documentation so if you ever get lost they actually have a lot of really good information so once you've activated your stripe whether you did it yourself or you hired somebody to do it then the next step is to get some test credit cards so here's what i mean by that if you go to stripe.com and it'll be stripe.com slash docs. So let me scroll down here so that you can see it better like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is you go to stripe.com slash docs slash testing. Stripe.com slash docs slash testing. You go here and you wanna look for some test credit cards. So if you scroll down, about one fourth to the bottom, you'll see card numbers and you'll see uh, Visa cards, MasterCards, American Express, Discover. So you can test all of these if you want to. Me personally, I would just simply test one and then of course see if it actually goes through. Now, in order for this to succeed, your Stripe account needs to be in test mode. So when you go to set things up, there's gonna be a little button that says test mode. You wanna make sure that that is selected. Once that's selected, you simply just copy one of these card numbers. And then of course it says CVC, any three digits or date, any future date. So all you have to do is simply enter these. So what we need to do is simply go to the product that we created earlier. And then let's see, let me go up here so that we can zoom in. And then you'll see something like this. So, you got the product, you fill out your name and all that, and then what you need to do is simply enter your credit card here. So that would be the 4242-42442 all the way here, and then the expiration date, which we could just say uh, December like 30, and then the CVC code, just random numbers. Okay, so once you've entered all that information, you just simply select submit, and make sure that it actually goes through. And that's all you have to do. It's really easy like that.